Hi, you guys. Welcome to my video. So we're going to get right started with the Bobbi Brown uh, moisturizer and base. I love this stuff. It just makes my skin look amazing and feel amazing. Um, it is a little pricey, but as you can see, I got the travel size. Um, but I do feel like this really does help prep and prime my face for makeup, especially during the summertime. Um, it's not too thick, but I definitely could tell it is doing its job. So then um, what I'm going to do now is just also show you guys how I like prep my eyes. I mean, technically eyes aren't base, but this is how I do the base for my eyes. So I thought I'd show you guys. So I just apply the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in the color Honey. And I just put that all over my eyelid like so. Um, then what I am going to do is take one of my Real Techniques buffing brushes and just buff that all out. And that's just going to create the base for my eyeshadow when I'm ready to put that on. And then normally what I do is just take a big fluffy brush and I just do a little translucent powder and keep it moving. So then I use a second primer. I'm going to use the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. This is holy grail for me. Definitely makes that makeup stick to your face all day long, if you know what I mean, in a great way. So then what I do is I just make sure that it's sticky and all over my face. Um, I was also trying to watch my four-year-old at the same time, so that's why I was kind of looking the other way. So then next, what I am going to do is go in with my foundation. I'm going to mix two foundations, the NARS Radiant um, Foundation in the colors Tahoe and Macau. I'm going to put more of Macau on there because it is a summertime and my skin is a little bit darker right now. But as you can see, my neck and my face are just generally two different colors, just kind of facts of life. Um, but I'm going to still put more of the Macau to give me a little bit of a darker color. And I am just going in using the uh, Morphe fluffy blending brush and then I put a little bit more Macau on there just to give my skin just a little bit more of the darker tone and then I have a braid mark up top that's what you see on my skin that dark dark form of demarcation then I'm going to go in and take that damp beauty blender which I spray with the Evian water and I'm just going to use that to just make sure my makeup is fully blended and fully smooth on my face before I go in with the same concealer which is the Too Faced Born This Way concealer again in the color Honey and I'm just going to put a little bit on. Um, I don't go too light with the concealer, even though I do have lighter concealers, especially if I'm just going to like an everyday event. And I feel like in the summer, you kind of want a more natural dewy look anyway. So then what I decided to do was go in with the Evian just to give my concealer a little bit of wetness before I started blending it in. Um, also, I took the Rihanna Fenty um, Beauty Match Stick in the color Truffle to do my cream contour. And what you'll see now is just me using all the levels I want to bring a little bit of caving in or contour to. So then I just took um, this brush is old. This is a BH Cosmetics brush that has lasted me a while. It's a stippling brush. And I'm just going to stipple all that into my skin, not on top of my skin. Then I'm going to um, take a Real Techniques brush and just literally blend that concealer in like so. And you'll see me doing it under the eyes, looking up, both of the eyes. You really want to make sure you get your concealer as flat as you possibly can. That's what's really going to make it blend into the makeup and give you that flawless look that a lot of us are looking for. So I, I alternate between this brush and other brushes as well. But I feel like this brush just really does me well when it comes to blending it into the concealer. And so then what I'm going to do is take the Huda Beauty um, in the color Banana Bread. And I'm just lightly, as you can see, I'm taking a lot of it off. You barely can even see I'm putting it on there. And I'm going to press it into the skin. This is going to set all of those areas that I put the concealer on. So that's what you're going to see me doing there. And then I just add a little bit under my contour just to make the contour pop. Then speaking of contour, I'm going to go into the Juvia's Place Contour Palette in uh, Tan. And the darker shade I'm going to use in all the areas on my face. And then I typically use the lighter shade um, when it comes to my nose because I don't want my nose contour to be as booming as my um, face contour. So that's what you'll see me doing there is just applying the contour in all of those areas. So then what I am going to do is go ahead and just dust away the powder from all the areas where I put it. Like if there's any residue, because I don't necessarily bake, I'm more so just setting the face. Then I'm going to go in with the NARS Orgasm Blush. This is one of my favorite colors for the summer. It's like a pinky peachy orange and it has a little shimmer. So I think it's just perfect for the summertime. Not too much, but it does enough. Then I went in with my Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. And as you can see, I was like, what is going on? Because I wanted to put a little hydration. But I don't know if it's because it's new or if I'm just going to go get another one. But it definitely hydrated my face on this day. And then I just went in with my Beauty Blender to like blend 
it into my skin and then I used um, my fan and then my video did cut off but I did also after this go in with the um, Patrick Star one size setting spray that's what you saw me go in with right then and that's just gonna make sure the face stays matte and smooth all day and then I just normally take a fan to like just make sure it's all ready and boom this was my look I hope you guys enjoyed feel free to leave any questions or comments below